Hey guys, I'm Ashu from Technicality and today I'm going to show you how to remove the annoying bootloader unlocked message from your phone. Now I know some of us do like that message and like to call it the valor of the developer, but not all of us are like that, right? We want to get rid of that message because it point number one takes more boot time and point number two looks bad. Now about the first point that it takes more time in booting. Well, I can't do anything about that, but I can definitely cover it up with like a logo. For example, I have a Moto G4 Plus, right? So for me, it says bootloader unlocked, your device will start for 15 minutes. I'll show you what it says. So here is it, the annoying message. I know it's not clear, but yeah, you get the idea. This is what it is. We're going to get rid of this. Let's see how. All right. First of all, you gotta download this file logo.bin. I'll show you. I'll I'll definitely leave a link in the description, so you don't need to worry about that. It's this file. I'll leave a Google link, Google Drive link. You can download it from there. So you just need to copy it to your C or wherever you have installed your minimum ready password. Usually it's here. C program file so is your minimum ready password. Paste it. It will say a permission is just granted. Once it's done, we need to extract it. Extract it. Now, in my case, oh, one second. Yeah. So, I think it has been extracted. What file is this? I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, it's a binary file. I have no idea why it's showing VLC Media Player. But it's a dot bin binary, binary file. So let's go ahead and remove the irritation. So all you gotta do now is to connect your phone via USB cable. And let's go. And make sure you have Android USB debugging enabled. This is a cool wallpaper, by the way. MP3 is awesome. Alright, so I have to reboot my phone to bootloader. Since I have a custom ROM installed, I have this option to go to reboot bootloader. If you don't have the option, there are no worries. You have to turn off your phone, press your volume button, power down button together, hold it for 10 seconds, and you reach bootloader. Now, if it's not a mobile phone, it's a Samsung phone, there are different methods to put the home button, the power down button, and so on. You can just Google it how to uh, reach the bootloader of my phone and you'll get it. Into the phone. Okay, so here are the messages again. I want to take it out. Wait for it. Alright, so now you know how to reach the fastboot shell. The command window is nothing like If you have the minimal ready and password installed from my link that I've provided in my other videos, I'll give that here as well. Then you just click here, CMD here. If not, you have to click shift and right click at the same time and you're going to reach it. Alright, so let's continue. Okay, so now I have to go press the up button and it should bootloader logs. It does nothing, it just looks cool. <laughs> so keep it here. And then you just type fastboot. I mean, you type this fastboot devices in order to ensure that you're connected. If this doesn't show, Make sure you install your phone's USB driver because that sometimes creates a problem. So once you have this fastboot flash logo, now go to the folder and search for its name. What is the name of the logo? So copy that. If it's something else, I can just type logo. It's it's logo dot bin. Enter. That's it. Let's check it out. So here we have it. This is my phone, right? So let's reboot it. See? Please. I'm sorry about it. My laptop web web camera is not. A bootloader unlock message is replaced by a Moto logo and a white background as you get on your new non-booted, 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 non-booted,
If you have any doubts, write them up in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. Please like, please share the video, please subscribe.